Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of RM Cookbook. Today I'm going to share with you a very delicious recipe of onion and lentil fritters. It's also actually known as piaju. Piaj means onion and anything which is made out of onion is called piaju. So I'll tell you how quickly you can make it and it's very delicious and it's a very special recipe in Ramadan. So here you can see a cup of red lentil which I uh, have um, soaked it for half an hour to an hour. So uh, what we will be doing, we'll be just processing it to our food processor to make a paste out of it. So um, the lentils has been drained and washed as you have seen and just pour it into your food processor if you have. Uh, but we just need to make a paste out of it. So food processor over here is the most easiest uh, to a way to do it. So let it run through the food processor and in a few minutes you will have uh, this lentil paste. This is basically your base ingredient and that's the most important and now we'll be showing you uh, what other ingredient you need to uh, prepare this obviously the most important one is the onion because it is the onion and lentil fritters so we will also need to chop the onions in a specific way uh, meaning we need this long strandy uh, sort of cut of thin slices of onion so you, you will see you will see so again we'll be using the uh, food processor but a different type of blade uh, so that we can uh, chop through this onion very quickly and um, as you can see this is the sort of result you need to end up in you, not the little pieces you, you need this long uh, stringy one and uh, the next one is the um, ginger so that's a long um, medium sized piece of ginger but again we'll be cutting it into thin slice the way you see over here so that's your ginger and uh, next ingredient is your coriander so coriander gives a very nice uh, flavor uh, to the uh, piaju so uh, chop it up as uh, coarsely or as small you, as you can do with a knife and uh, put it aside for now uh, some chili green chili again uh, you need green chili not the dried powdered chili because the green chili gives that chili flavor to it again vary it based on your taste how hot you want over here we have taken four but we are cutting it in a way so that the uh, you know it doesn't become too hot so these are your ingredients which we will be mixing onion coriander ginger and green chili uh, so now is the fun part we'll be just uh, mixing it together as you have seen previously that's the bowl of our uh, lentil paste to that we just mixed a uh, cup oh, sorry half a cup of uh, garam flour now that's basically uh, powder made out of um, chickpeas uh, to that we added uh, one egg and we are adding two teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of turmeric powder and a bit of water because it's becoming too dry so we just need to make the consistency the way you see um, over here now rest of it is we're just going to add all the other ingredients which we previously prepared essentially the coriander uh, the green chili um, the ginger and um, the onion all we have to do is just mix it together uh, put it into this bowl. That's the reason I said that you need a um, you know slightly big size of uh, glass bowl or a bowl and in that just uh, mix it through uh, add a bit of water and all you want is basically the consistency which you see over here. Uh, now we're just going to fry it. So we're going to shallow fry it. We're not going to deep fry it. Deep fry requires lots of oil. It's not very healthy to deep fry. So shallow fry is the best way to go and it's a healthy way to go. But, you know, if you go to Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, where you see people that are making this piaju, you will see that they'll be deep frying it. Uh, that's not really healthy. Um, so uh, all we do is shallow fry on one side and the other side. And the reason I actually made it slightly flatter is because so that the heat can penetrate from top to bottom. So as you can see, when the color changes like this golden brown, it's done. So just put it into uh, your uh, plate uh, for serving. And this is the way I uh, made rest of the uh, piaggios, but I'm not going to show all of it. Just one is enough. You need <laughs> you get the picture. And now I will show you now, like the way my wife is breaking it over here. You see the inside, it's c thoroughly cooked. Nothing is uncooked. And the best thing, best way to taste it was homemade some, uh, we made some homemade ketchup and uh, that's it this is how you can make your onion and lentil fritters or piaggio um, and also if you wanted to see how i made that uh, tomato ketchup just click on the video as it appears on the top it will show you the recipe of homemade tomato ketchup really delicious 
um, I hope you'll give that a try and also uh, this Piaggio I hope you will give this a try so uh, let us know how you uh, go with this recipe if you tried it at home and um, this is basically the recipe of our Piaggio hope you liked it if you did give us like and thank you for your time watching this video